looks like he gets around it to the outside. Break yourself, fool! Then we are gone for a one-play touchdown. The fast, cheap, reliable mud coins go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got an offensive gameplay video for you guys today uh, in a playbook that I might be retiring pretty soon. I don't want to move off of this playbook, but I think that I've used it enough and I want to make sure that I mix in uh, some new concepts in my gameplay. So this might be the last time I use the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook, but before I leave it, I want to show you guys why I think this is the best passing playbook in the game, especially when it comes to all the meta defenses that people are running. Things like cover three and cover one, cover zero, those are probably the three most used defenses in the game right now when it comes to online gameplay and that's why i use this book because it has the best plays when it comes to those three defenses in my opinion anyway uh but ultimately i'll show you guys that in a little bit i'm starting off on the defensive side i'm going to use a uh, a play that i put out recently in in another gameplay video i'll have a link in the description for that the only thing you don't want to use it against is five wide defenses and that's exactly what my opponent comes out in so i'm not going to stick in this defense longer though on the first play it works out pretty good <laughs> Nope. So I'm going to try it again on the very next play. And sure enough, he's in a five wide receiver set again on the very next play. So I'm kind of stuck in this. And on the next series, he has a little bit more success. I don't really have the speed on the field now. Now he's got me in a hurry up. Oh, you mother <laughs> Okay. I'm in a position. Do I want to call a timeout 25 seconds into the game? Bruh. I decide not to, and I essentially let him just walk right down the field on me, hitting seam shot after seam shot. I stick with it one more play. I mean, we've gone this far. We might as well, right? And he goes right up that seam one more time. So he's inside the 10. Before I finally get to change uh, my defense, not going back to that defense anytime soon. I'm probably going to run a lot more of the 3-3-5. Three, three, I'm going to hit him with the cover four drop. This is a good run defense. It's a good pass defense. And, uh, you know, switching it up, he totally doesn't see it coming. I think he expects that cover three seam to be there one more time. And on the very next play, gotcha, he bitch. throws it right to uh, my safety, just sitting underneath where, uh, you know, maybe where that cover three seam would have been. So we're coming away with an interception. On the offensive side, my number one offense has got to be the gun split close. This is something where pretty much any playbook I use, I kind of want this to be in it. And the first play I'm going to pick is the halfback slips. I do not run a lot of slip screen plays. I'm just not that good at them. I find that I usually get blown up. But this play here, both of the running backs get open, which is what makes this play so good in my opinion. So I could hit the RB route, which I will later in the game, or I can just hit the screen, uh, which I do on this first play. Now, after this first play, I see he's running cover three. Like I said, this playbook here really goes after the metas. Cover three, cover zero are probably two of the most used. So I'm going to hit him with some cover three one play touchdowns. Z spot is one of the first ones that I typically go to. It really depends on what side of the hash mark I'm on. Since I'm on the left side, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to set that up. Although, from the looks of this, I can't tell if he's in, still in that cover three, if he's switched over to a cover one or what. So, on the next play, I basically just take the flat. Work out! And make sure that I, you know, I'm not making a mistake as far as a cover three goes. I'm going to do that. Turns out he was in that cover three. So, we're going to pick another cover three one play touchdown. And this time it's going to be the PAF slide. All I'm going to do is streak this X route. And even though this doesn't look like a cover three pre-snap, that's going to be my read. On the next play, it looks like he gets around it to the outside. Break yourself, fool! And we are gone for a one-play touchdown. We hit a one-play touchdown to take a lead up 7 nothing. Now, it turns out he was not in that cover three. He was in cover zero, so we're going to have a lot of plays for that as well. On the next series on defense, Oops. I don't think that's how he drew it up, because he's going to go back about 15 yards. That's a good play. He just didn't run it right. I know exactly what play he's running. Then, on second and 25, he probably should have just stayed in the five wide receiver set that he was having success with. We can go! Woo! Right here, everything's clamped. Then on third and 25, we're going to try to get a safety here. We're going to switch it up and go with a blitz that I put out not too long ago out of the cover four quarters. This here is a devastating blitz, especially for people that haven't seen it yet. He comes out in that five wide set one more time. We can go! But I have so many guys coming in. No, nope. We just plan them in the backfield, and that's pretty much all she wrote. So he's going to have to punt it away. But for whatever reason, he decides to go for it. Nope. Fourth and 25. I'm not falling for that, though. 
Then I'm going to basically hit him with some more of these, uh, you know, outside pass plays. He's still hitting me with that cover zero. Still sending a lot of really quick pressure. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go to my cover zero formation, which is typically these plays here. I try to hit him with a, uh, a corner route here. I thought I had separation, but maybe the timing was off. You think? And we just throw an interception, giving the ball right back. So he's back on the offensive side. We're going to try to hit him with that blitz one more time. And we had success the first time that we ran it. Oops. No. <laughs> No, he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. But he goes from his own four all the way to field goal range in the 26. Then on the very next play, obviously, he's going to beat my cover three right over the top. Damn it! I got to stop running that cover three. That's actually a pretty weak cover three. So back on the offensive side, like I said, we know he's running a lot of man zero. So we're going to go right to our explosive one play touchdown against man zero. And that's the close bucks fade. This play right here takes no adjustments at all. It's really just a play, whether it's man zero, man cover one. This X route just gets behind it just about every single time. And that's exactly what happens here. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> He's just got a little bit more wheels than Randy Moss. He catches them. Uh, we're going to go right back to it, though. We're going to try to run it again. Uh, the only problem is this time I'm a little bit too close. I'm within 30 yards of the goal line, uh, and I have to bullet instead of lob. And that costs me an interception. So that play right there, you probably got to run at least 40 to 50 yards away for it to be a successful play. Back on the defensive side, of my opponent, he's dotting me on these cover threes on the outside now. So I really got to switch that up. Uh, hit him with some all-out blitz. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. We're just getting some uh, some instant heat. I try to do that again. This is not typically a defense I like to run. And then he dots me up within four defenders around him. He still catches the ball on second and 20 against the first. Uh, this guy's a gunslinger, man. And on the next play, gotcha, he's throwing an interception right over the middle. As I mixed up my defenses enough that I finally caught him. Then on the offensive side, since we had success with this play, I switch over to it one more time. He moves his defender across, making me think that he might be watching it. So I just don't trust him. I don't throw it. I'm just going to take off and try to get as much as I can on the ground. But he's still in that defense. And he did not follow. So we're going to go with that play one more time. Uh, this play here, we're just going to flip it, go the opposite direction. Looks like he wanted to follow up, but he knew it was too late. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. And we're bombing it up. And we're getting another easy one play touchdown uh, with this easy cover one, cover zero man beater. I love this play. It's one of the reasons I run this playbook. I don't even think you can find it anywhere else. So back on the defensive side, we're, you know, having way more success on the defensive side now. Still running a lot of cover threes, knocking balls down, getting pressure. Nope. This guy's not really getting anywhere. Then on third and 10, obviously that's when he starts to have success. I see that a lot. This guy's not very efficient. He just turns, he just gets those big plays when he needs them. But for the most part, my defense is having success as we're knocking balls away. On the next play, he's trying to bomb it up. I mean, he might have had a play here if he actually set his feet before he throws. Gotcha, but instead, we're coming up with an interception. We're getting the ball at the one-yard line, though, which is fine because I have a lot of faith in these plays. He's still send that all-out blitz, and I'm still bombing it up over the top. Like I said, this play is so money, it works pretty much every time. Another really good man-beating play is the Bucks seams uh, out of the gun tight, but there's one caveat to that. You have to run this to the open side of the field, and I'm running it to the short side, so I have no faith that it's going to work. Nope. I'm not going to make that throw. Uh, instead, we just throw it away. But that is one of the better cover zero plays that I have that I don't have success with in this gameplay. On the next play, we're just hitting these flats. That's one of the things I love about the gun split close. You can just work these flats all game, no matter what the defense is. We go back to that gun tight one more time. We try to set up a little bit differently but i'm still on the short side of the field and i still don't trust making this throw so we throw it out of bounds Oops. and sure enough we're getting a penalty so we're just making it harder on ourselves now now i want to go back to that close bucks fade but i've done that so many times so the next best play in this formation for man is close bucks cross so i'm gonna go down and switch it up to that he's got to be watching this route at some point he's been beat by it so many times i can't imagine he's not going to fall for it anymore and sure enough he chases the bait which leaves my uh, underneath routes wide open for a nice catch and run all i really wanted to do was get in a field goal range anyway so starting at the one with only a minute to go i work my way all the way down the field and i get a field goal to take a two possession lead i think that's a win so i'll take that going into the second half i have some other really good man beating plays like the pa fork shot which is a play that i like to run a lot i'm gonna go ahead and run that here although i'm not having as much success when the second half starts uh this first play especially doesn't work out anywhere near what i was expecting as he surprises me with a zone coverage and i take a sack <laughs> On the next play, we try to switch it up, hit him with another cover three, one play touchdown, and he comes out in man coverage. So I basically just chuck it up. Yep. You know, that's all she wrote. I mean, basically, it's a punt at this point, uh, as I had nothing really going. But he's back in the ball game. He's only down two possessions. If he scores here, uh, I'd 
left the door wide open. Sure enough, though, in the next play, I mean, he's just thrown into a crowd. This guy's definitely a gunslinger. It looks like he changed quarterbacks at some point. Like, he's blaming these type of throws on Randall Cunningham. As you can see right there, obviously nothing really changed. So, on the offensive side, we're back in the gun split close. I'm in pretty much kill clock mode at this point. I mean, I, this is my four-minute offense, or at least, you know, I'd like to run this entire quarter down. And these are the type of plays that I can do that with all game. The screenplay, which I told you guys about, um, this is going to be a scenario. I try to hit him with a fake motion, make him think that I'm going to run it to that direction. And then I basically just, you know, I could go either way. I can hit either one of these routes. They're both going to be open in the flats. We take the screen, and we've having more success with that screen uh, than I have, like I said, with any other screenplay. Another really good pass play that I like to use is the curl switch out of the gun empty tray stack. Another really good man beating play, especially man cover too. Pretty much every route here beats man. And you can see on this next play, I got my options all over the place as I take the simple zig. And we're quickly in scoring range. Now he keeps hitting me with these all out man blitzes. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go right back to that screenplay. This is a perfect counter to somebody that's too aggressive when it comes to blitzing uh, out of man coverage. And then sure enough, the Y route's just wide open. And we're taking this to the house. So we take a three possession lead and now we're just essentially playing prevent, playing some cover two man, which is, you know, one of the harder defenses that won't play touchdown against. He thought he had a step though. Gotcha, Once again, throwing on the run and we're coming the other way. How's that quarterback change working out for you, buddy? <laughs> Got he. As Dante Culpepper is making the exact same stupid throws that Randall Cunningham was. This is usually the time that people quit, but my opponent here is not going to do that. So he's down. I'm just going to run clock. And like I said, I guess he knows that I'm going to run clock. So now he's, of course, shutting down every single run play that I throw at him. So he's going to force me to continue to pass. But even on third and 15, these underneath stuff, you know, like this PAF slide play is just killer. You can see right here. I mean, he's taking away the deep stuff, but this this underneath stuff is all I really need. I can, start, I can run this entire game game running these dink and dunk plays and having success then we're just going to have the fullback inside a couple times i ran this play 1200 times the fullback inside it's one of the best run plays of the game and it just so happens to be found in one of my favorite run formations then with a few seconds left i probably could have let the clock run out but i just wanted to run it one more time we get a huge gaping hole as we're walking into the end zone with another touchdown to end the game and sure enough my opponent's had enough even though the clock did strike double zero my opponent tries to get a disconnection win by uh quitting after the game's over like okay buddy you're cool Boom, this man so if wasting my time wasn't enough, he tries to screw me out of a win by disconnecting at the very end. Uh, so that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more gameplays like this, do me a favor. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.